All right, so here's the start of my Hello Kitty collection. We've, we've, Dalton, Dalton built the shelves. Actually, Dalton and Shaylin built Shailen them. Shaylin helped, yeah. I got all my stuff ready. This is all my Hello Kitty collection. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know how many bags. Okay, we've got lots and lots and lots of stuff. And Dalton, did you put those up there already? They just climbed up. <laughs> 37 shelves to Potions. fill up. And all here, like we can fill stuff yeah, all... Yeah, on top too. Anything that's bigger and won't fit. Hey, can you put the mermaid one up there too? Isn't that one cool? It's a mermaid. Yeah. No, it's... not there! No, up the top! <laughs> it's gonna fall up top. No, it won't. Really? Well, angle it. <laughs> put it beside the mommy. No! <laughs> hey! I told you it's gonna fall. It's top heavy. Yay! Family! <laughs> okay. Easter one. We're on the last box. Yeah. I'll show you guys all this Hello Kitty stuff like later. There's a lot of stuff. Because she collects <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> I have so many things. It's like a oh. cupcake. And this one. And then oh, this no. one. And she has like a... Oh, I can't. Lollipop. She has a lollipop in this one. She's a ballerina in that one. She's a cupcake in that one. Wow. So these are all glass, so we gotta yeah, be careful, we careful with those. This is gonna and, be awesome. And then uh, there's another one that Sam really liked right here. Yeah, that one I really like. It reminds right me of Snapchat. <laughs> and right here. Well, we're gonna get back at this. We'll let you guys know what oh, the deal is. Oh my god, so cute! still here cool lovely we are going to right now grab some donations because get this drew and shay dalton's brother and sister got invited to a birthday party and their birthday party person the birthday guy is apparently the sweetest little kid and all he asked if you guys follow me on twitter you've already seen this all he asked for his birthday present for himself was donations to the food bank for other people that's that's incredible that's Amazing, he's turning eight. He's either turning eight or nine. Eight or I'm not 100% sure. Right. I haven't asked yet. But like you're that age and you're like thinking of others and it's not his parents telling him to do it because June Shay are like, no, he's like the sweetest little boy. He's always talking about others and you know, he's just so nice. And I don't know this kid at all. Don't know his parents, don't know anything like that. But it just sparked me. We heard the story and right away we're like, well, we should just go grab something for him then. Absolutely, like it just, I had to like because I like donating as it is you guys know that I love donating but this is like donating to the food bank yes for, for people in need for others but it's also for to like say to this little boy like good job like keep that up and you're gonna go so far in life and to have that already is just amazing so we're gonna meet Dalton's mom at the grocery store I like, research the food bank to see what they most needed and I'm gonna kind of grab at least one thing off of their most needed things probably infant formula is gonna be my top one because I bet it's expensive and I bet not a lot of people grab that first probably your mom's here so I just thought that was amazing thumbs up this video for it oh your mom just said are you here okay we gotta go <laughs> you're getting them cans of corn <laughs> can we they're Wait, four, for, four five. for five so corn one one of, one of those ones one cream style corn one corn and another thing well we had to get them like beans right look at this those green fresh green style beans. green giant Take beans beans canned beans are on um uh, is there peas i know some kids i think uh, yeah oh no they're I didn't grab them. four for five sorry say peas then that's five they're four for five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, now five we have five. <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave the peas in. Sorry. Why? Is it, oh, I get Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're fine. Let's just get those. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, my God. There. Four for five. We can count together. Okay, so we've completed. Dalton's mom is going right now and taking the bag and rushing them off because they're a little light for the birthday. I love this shirt. Did it just start raining? Oh. Looks like. Nice. 
There's a mommy bunny with and four, three little babies. Three babies, and there's another one under this Get car. Why is that one just sitting under the car then? And the other ones are running away. Oh. Because they're scared of us. They're so cute. <laughs> they're just little. Oh, this one's taking off. If you're wondering why I look weird today, it's because I only put powder on my face. I didn't put foundation, and I just did eyebrows. I know. Somebody, um, one of my. I, I, Okay, you guys remember when I said that I was packaging up a present as like a thank you present for somebody who helped to find one of our friend's siblings? Uh, I sent down the package, he received it, and he did the unboxing, which is so cute. I tweeted it out, but I also wanted to include it in the vlog. I will leave, or Dalton or one of us will leave the uh, link to his video in the description box so you can go watch it and check that out. Yeah, just give him some support because, you know, he's making YouTube videos now, and I like, or not now, he was. <laughs> making them and I like to you know help people with their things my hair is sick today because yesterday I when I showered I didn't even I wasn't even bothered to be blow drying and everything so I literally just put it all up and then stuck it in a button and that's how I rolled yesterday hello kitty collection oh my god I'm getting overall people saying to me please do a video on my channel for hello kitty collection I will Shay and I spent about four hours solid yesterday on the collection we set up all the show well, Dalton Shay sort of well Shay helped build all the shelves and then me and Shay sorted all the hello kitty stuff and starting to put it all away on the shelves I think I need another shelf so yeah I will definitely definitely post a collection video but when it's done it's it's not even like halfway, I would say. It's a lot to do and I just gotta keep working at it. Going to bed everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Had to buy a new toothbrush and I got a black toothbrush. I don't know why, I just found that really odd. I like to buy soft toothbrushes just cause that's what my dentist recommends for me. Um, and it's kinda hard, all of them are like medium or hard and he told me nobody should have a hard toothbrush. I don't wanna recommend that just because I'm not a dentist but that's just what he told me. I had to get a new toothbrush because I dropped mine in the toilet. And no, I'm not going to be using it again. So I got a new one. Which is good to replace your toothbrushes every couple of months. That's what I do. And if you get sick. Like if you get sick, you shouldn't continue to brush your teeth with your germy toothbrush, right? Love you guys. Talk to you all in the next vlog and or and or in my next video. Love you. Bye. Okay. I've never backed out of a garage before because I've, I've never had a garage before. So first times for everything. Why is this? <sighs> Here we go. Eh. You guys are gonna do this with me. I'm probably gonna hit something. Have faith. Oh my God. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my God, I'm on the freaking sidewalk. I have to shut this door. Come on. We got Amy Winehouse playing. I love you, girl. Yay! So right now I'm getting pulled over, apparently, because I'm speeding. Which, it's fine. If I have a speeding ticket, no problem. Here you go. But as soon as I turn the corner, because this road is 50 down here, and as soon as I turn the, turn the corner, I always look at my speedometer, and it said 61. So then I started braking. He pulled me over, said I was going 70. That's a complete lie. That's a complete lie. Because as soon, I always look at my spot, speedometer as soon as I, you know, turn into a new road. Because that's where you're supposed to. I check the speeding sign, and then I look at my speedometer and it said six it was like just above the 60 so i was like oh need to slow down right because it's 50 here so i just slowed down and then as soon as i slowed down a little bit i got pulled over and said i was going 70. lie definitely always remain respectful to police because they're the police obviously apologize because you know if you're speeding then you're speeding but as soon as he said 70 i was like okay but i may have been speeding yes but i wasn't going 70. like okay and then this other guy that pulled, got pulled over right beside me, they told him he was going 85, and he's like, no, I wasn't. He's like, my car doesn't even go 85. I was like, hey, well, yeah, it does, or else you wouldn't be on, like, you can't go on the highway. By the way, uh, sp speeds are different if you live in America. 60 is a lot faster in miles per hour than it is kilometers an hour. He was like freaking out. He's like, um, I was speeding, yes. He was like, I was speeding definitely because I'm late for an appointment, but I wasn't going 85. So I'm not sure really what's going on. Oh, there's tickets happening, so. Yeah, because they'll like talk to you and stuff if, obviously, I don't, yeah, you obviously get a ticket if you're speeding, I'm no problem. Like, I'll go pay it today, but I wasn't going 70, right? But, okay, that's fine. Oh my God, today is just not a good day to go driving. I literally stopped to let a little boy with a backpack, like maybe like 
10 years old, crossed the road at a crosswalk, and I got honked at. Almost, he almost touched my bumper, he was so angry, and uh, gave me the finger and kept honking at me as I was letting a little boy cross the road at a crosswalk. It was, it was, he wasn't like running across the road or anything like that. I don't know what the hell's wrong with people. I don't know why people are so angry and mean and mad in their lives. I said to myself, maybe he doesn't see the little boy. So I lit my windows rolled down. So I literally pointed at the little boy and the crosswalk at the guy. Cause I could see him giving me the finger in, the, in my rear view mirror. And he like freaked out. And I was like pointing at the little boy and the little boy saw me pointing at him and didn't know obviously. And I just told him, go ahead, go ahead. They gave him a smile and he was waving at me. He was so happy because no one was letting him go, right? And obviously I'm gonna stop traffic because it's a crosswalk. Like it's a crosswalk, you have to. But I don't know, people are just so mean and angry. It's like, you can't take like 10 seconds out of your day to let a little boy cross the road. I don't know. So the officer came back and I didn't tell you guys and said that I, okay, he said I was going 71. Did you guys remember me telling you that? Well, apparently not. They went and like looked at their whatever because I told them no, I wasn't going 71. I'm not trying to be rude. So they came back and said I was going 66. This wasn't like me trying to like, oh, can I please? No, because I wasn't going 71. You know what I mean? Like my speedometer definitely wasn't over the 70. It was, no. <laughs> So they said 66. I'm like, mm, I know that I wasn't going that high, but you know, it's only like a few K. So I just said, okay, yeah, that's fine. Just trying to, you know, be respectful, but just make sure to be respectful to cops, but not, don't be rude, but stand your ground. Like if they tell you you're doing something you're completely not doing, like don't be mean, but just try to get it sorted out. You know what I mean? I guess there's a good ending to a bad day or a bad story. Um, as soon as I, it's literally as soon as I put my hand on my door to come home, it started pouring rain and look at those clouds. Actually, they don't look terrible. Like over here, they look so bright and sunny, but like over there, they're like dark and it's pouring rain, thundering, lightning. I'm so glad I'm home. <laughs> I went to my love, which is pressed. I love press so much. I got a tomato basil soup and I also got a beatnik sandwich. Basically just has like these alfalfa sprouts. It's all like vegetables and it's delicious. And they have homemade bread and you can just smell it when you walk in there. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just honestly love press. I love them. And this is probably one of my favorite sandwiches that they have. Rainy day. I got half ready with my makeup because I just wanted to go <sighs> out and that's what happened. I want to drive the Camaro a bit and kind of just like chill and stuff. And that's what I came home, home to. Great. I'm going to go get on some freaking sweatpants and sleep. <laughs> no, not sleep. I'm going to edit a bit and get this shit on the road. All right. So today we're having toasted tomato sandwiches. We like ours a bit different. I think I did. Yes, I did a recipe on these ones. So if you're wanting to know that, you can just go over to the recipe channel, which I need to get going again. Okay, broil. Go. We're also having some tomato soup. We're having tomato overload. Dalton likes his very different than mine. He likes to just have tomatoes on toasted bread. I'm the opposite. I like to have not toasted bread, but toasted tomatoes. <laughs> We're opposite in that. This is Dalton's favorite. This is eggless mayo. It's very different. It's free from cholesterol, eggs, artificial colors, and flavors. It actually tastes the exact same. As you can see, we're almost like done it. Really good on toasted tomato sandwiches like this too. And then we have some ciabatta buns. Ooh, and he has guacamole out. Ooh, that would be really good. We're in the car. We're going to the conjuring now. Finally, Hi. I pre-bought tickets so that Hi. we could go. And Dalton's gonna edit this vlog now. Let's get out. 